Welcome back to West Texas View. Hasn't this been fun to hear all of the things that are available to our young people? Uh, Shannon sh shared some of the things, the Foot Locker program, where you can check out a, a program in the box and, or your group or your homeschooling or your classroom or whatever. And then we had just started talking to Clay before the break about the Junior Air Show. I'm very familiar with the, air, the big air show, but the Junior Air Show is, is uh, something that... Uh, that it just looks like an idea whose time has come. There you go. Well, for many years we've been doing a program called Special Show on Friday mornings, and it's, it's for special needs folks. Uh -huh. uh, it is free, and we have, we have quite a large attendance, attendance to, the, to this, and it's been going on for many years. Uh, roughly 1,000 to 1,500 people come out wow. from all over the West Texas area for that Friday morning free, free show. And so this last air show we decided to take it up a notch and invite sixth grade, again from the from the West Texas area, uh, invitations went out to a 60 mile radius because of, of you know trying to figure out the logistics yeah. of transportation, mm -hmm. and we we're very excited. I had projected uh, somewhere between a thousand two thousand kids. We have fifteen over fifteen hundred kids show up that Friday morning uh, for the Junior ISIS program. Uh, it was so exciting. It was so well received. Um, the um, and this, next year, you know, it'll probably the double. The social studies uh, supervisor at MISD told me that if she has her way, all of sixth grade from Midland will attend this uh -huh. next year. So we're, we're expecting to, to double the numbers. And after ramp up. And, <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. And they get to see a mini air show. Uh, <laughs> A lot of the airplanes that are going to be flying on Saturday and Sunday get to be part of that little. But then uh, they'll also come back with their moms and absolutely. dads to the big, or push their moms and dads. Absolutely, to come. absolutely, come yeah, back. And and the big show is 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 uh, of course all day Saturday. We'll we start at at noon uh, with the Akahoff parade a little before twelve. With the Akahoff parade, uh, we induct our new colonels. We also have the uh, national anthem starts at, starts kicks off the show. And this year we're going to have a night show, so uh, so folks can come and stay the whole day, uh -huh. have a have a, a wonderful experience, watching aircraft fly, planes fly. Uh -huh. We're headlining this year that the B-29 Fifi will be uh -huh. back in the air. Uh -huh. She's going to be our main part of the of the show. Uh, we'll have Matt Youngkin back to uh, to fly uh -huh. day and the night show. We're going to have a brand new act. Bob Carlton is going to bring out a jet powered cell plane, uh -huh. and he'll be flying for night, day and the night show. And, and the interesting thing is the, the people can go around and walk around the aircraft and, and this old, old aircraft or the, or the newer aircraft ask questions, Correct. the pilots are there. It's just a wonderful, Correct. wonderful walk through history. Absolutely. And, and the other thing is they can stay all day without it because they've got booths that that are selling food and other things and, and right. souvenirs and so it's just a great day for the family. A whole family experience. Yeah, yes. I love it. Well, one of the things though that that I've, I've uh, experienced is the crowds are just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and we have so many people coming from other states to our show. Oh, air not just show. other states. We, we have uh, people that come from all over the world to the air show. Because this is, this is one of the very biggest, isn't it? Correct. Uh, Correct. That's what I'd heard, that it was uh, the best and one of the biggest. And it's not, just, it's not just to come and participate at the air show. We also have uh, quite a few volunteers that come from, as well, from all over the world. Mm -hmm. We have a young lady that comes from, uh, from Switzerland mm -hmm. to help put the show together the week of no. uh, England. Uh, from all over the states, uh, they come from everywhere to be part of the air show. The experience of the air show as a volunteer is, is phenomenal. Because people that love aviation want to share it, mm -hmm. and they want to take it anywhere that they can. But but your pilots are all volunteers, aren't they? Sure. Yes. Absolutely. And so they bring their aircraft, which may belong to the CAF, but they fly it and mm -hmm. and uh, and make sure it's operable and. It's got gas in it Absolutely. and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Very expensive to yes. fly these things. Yes, yes. And so to have an opportunity to see these, some, some, what's the oldest plane? Is it the, it's not Fifi. No, uh, the, the, the oldest plane in our fleet is probably the B-24, the old 927. Okay. all right. And so we're talking um, 50 
60 years, oh, 70 more than years that. ago. She, uh, she was she was built. 48. She was built in. Uh, I, I can't remember for sure what the date is on. on but it was probably her, it was, like 40s, early, early, early no, 40s. late late, late, late 30s. Late 30s. Okay. Yes. So then that's 70, 80 years old. Mm -hmm. Goodness. Well, one of the other things that I wanted uh, us to talk about the air show is tell us how you access it. Um, there's plenty of parking. You said it started at noon, and so uh, do they buy advance tickets? You can buy advance tickets through the through our website. Uh, we also have ticket sales uh, in in. Uh, we don't have the convenience stores lined up for this year yet, mm -hmm. but we'll, we will soon. Uh, we'll be able to buy tickets in advance mm -hmm. for the show. It's $15 for adults, uh, $10 for, for kids. After, uh, it's $5 for kids, I'm sorry. And then it's, uh, and then it's, it's uh, $10 at, after 4 o'clock for the evening show. Uh -huh. Now, all this is in advance. It's $20 at the gate if uh -huh. you purchase the tickets mm -hmm. at the gate. So we do encourage you to get the tickets mm -hmm. early. Plenty of parking. Uh, outside of the grounds and easy to get into. Uh, we encourage everybody to come early because we open, open mm -hmm. the gates at 7.30. Uh, Lions Club is there to, to, to sell and serve breakfast mm -hmm. and that gives the people the opportunity to actually get out and look mm -hmm. around and walk up to the airplanes yeah. before we get things rolling at, mm -hmm. at, at, at the, the air show at itself. The air uh -huh. itself right. And that's, to me that's the best part is, is doing the walk around before it starts. And, and, and just going into the CAF and seeing what facilities there, there are yeah. and what, uh, what wonderful booths that are showing the support that we get. Mm -hmm. One of the things that, that I wanted us to, uh, to mention before we go is do we get anything if we're a member? Do we get a discount on the tickets, for example? Um, there's, there's all kinds of discounts and, and, and benefits as being a member of the CAF. And we certainly encourage everybody okay. to Yeah, to and, the, and the membership is so inexpensive. Well, we've got one minute left in our program, so tell me anything that you start with, the, uh, with Shannon and tell me in a nutshell what you want us to know about your well, part. Just to piggyback on Clay, I want everyone to know that the museum is actually open during air shows, so great. be sure to come out and visit us because there's great. so many great things going on. And I think you said it best that sometimes we have treasures in our backyard and we don't realize it, and, and, um, and we're, we're a gem. So uh -huh. just come visit us. You just must come, not just for the air show, but for the whole <laughs> Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. And Absolutely. what about you? Any last parting comments? Oh, just uh, for people to come out and see what we're all about. And once and they come to an air show, they'll never miss one after Absolutely, that. absolutely. It has been such a treat to have Clay and Shannon with us this morning and talk about the, the different programs <clears throat> that are available to the public and that help us to remember how, what an important part aviation was in our history and to see where it's going in the future because there's a lot more to that museum than just the past. We'll see you next Sunday with another program, another program about the Commemorative Air Force. See you then. Thanks for joining us for News West 9's West Texas View with Johnny Lou Avery. This has been a public affairs presentation of KWAB-TV and KWES-TV.